and rising, beautiful souls. This is Eris Mary, and uh, you're at Eris Well. And uh, I want to thank everybody for the likes, shares, the comments, and the subscribes, subscriptions. <laughs> um, I really appreciate each and every one of you that have helped me to build up my channel. I really appreciate you very much so. Okay. Um, these messages are past, present, and future. Uh, the genders are fluid. It could be, he could be a she, she could be a he. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't try to make it fit. The messages that come through are from your higher self or from, um, higher beings. Balanced souls, okay? Um, to the 3D. And these are confirmation for what you already know. So if something seems just blows your mind and it's the first time you heard of it, this isn't for you, okay? All right, I'm going to clear the air. All right, I pulled out some angel numbers. Hold on, y'all. I'm like really hot. I just drank a cup of coffee like really fast. Let me turn this heater back. All right. The angel numbers that I pulled out are number six, number 17, number 18, and number 77. Okay, someone could be a life path six, a life path seven. A life path eight and a life path nine. Okay. Uh, angel number six is encouraging you to dream big. It's about leaning into a peaceful life and taking action in your daily activities. Okay. That lead to a positive outcomes. Um, it's the motherhood number. Emphasis on healing and providing care and safeguarding others in need. Um, number 17 symbolizes the alignment of inner self with the divine forces. Okay. It's suggesting you're at the best time for your spiritual development. Stay on your path. Keep a positive outlook on life and trust that you will achieve all that you set out to do. Angel number 18, finding the path to progress. So they kind of, they're collating together. Um, is a spiritual awakening number, finding purpose, power of infinite po uh, possibilities, importance of self-belief. So you have to believe in yourself, okay? It's the only way anything is going to really come to fruition. It's really going to become abundant. You have to believe in it yourself. Angels are supporting you, encouraging you to embrace changes that take you closer to the life you desire. Okay, angel number 77, profound spiritual message. Believed to be sent by one of your guardian angels from the divine realm. Okay, and I took some notes here. This angelic number is thought to carry vital guidance and encouragement, serving as a compass on one's life path, helping to navigate through various situations and decisions. Okay, and in Genesis 4, 24, if Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, then Lamech seven, se 77 fold. Lamech had just murdered someone, and he warns that if God said no one was to kill Cain in retribution for his murder, then that applied 77 times to himself. Right? But 77 means you are supported through this transition. It's about healing, spiritualism, psychic abilities, creativity, and determination. Okay. All right.
have a, a clockwork pumpkin. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever seen clockwork orange, but this is the first thing I thought of. Okay, so someone's going to have an aha moment. A wonderful idea. Like an epiphany. Okay, an epiphany is going to come to someone. Are there more here? Okay. All right. Spirit, tell us more about this uh, clockwork, <clears throat> excuse me, clockwork pumpkin, about this aha moment. So we have a mermaid in a koi pond. Rediscover your individuality. Become the dragon. That's so amazing. We're going into the, the year of the wooden dragon. We're coming out of the, I think it's the water rabbit. I believe. I might be wrong on that. Okay, so we're going to have an aha moment. And rediscover our individuality. Okay, collective. Okay, a little, a beautiful little worm. Take care of yourself. Because you've been taking care of yourself, because you've been eating right, because you've been cutting the cords and cutting ties with these toxic people, okay? People that you have finally learned your lesson from. Because being a karmic means that you've had past lives together, okay? So taking care of yourself could be in many different types of ways. So you're, because you've been taking care of yourself, you're going to have an aha moment, right? And you get to rediscover your individuality. That's beautiful. Okay. Can you give us some more messages, please? And thank you. Whoa. Please don't lose hope. August was their last chance to do something. The Golden Phoenix. Something you thought finished burst back into life. So you might be uh, like going through your dark night of the soul. Or I feel like many dark nights of the soul. Where you just felt so down and out. But then you realize the patterns that were going on. And you decided to change. You changed just one choice, one decision. You changed something. And when you did that, it gave you more hope because you seen instantly that things became better. And it has to do with cutting off people and taking care of yourself. Being the little worm, right? And this is before you went into the, before you were the chrysal chrysalis. Right? Before you went into the cocoon. Before you become in this butterfly. You had that aha moment. You didn't lose hope. And something you thought. Like your childhood. Inner child innocence. Your creativity. You're having fun. It burst back in, uh, into life. Someone tried to dim, dim your light. Collective. You can't have that. I definitely feel like not just one person. This is like a whole group of people that were trying to keep the collective stagnant. Trying to keep them not following their life's path. Not following their divine journey. What they're supposed to be doing. Like they tried to put you in, in pause. In a stalemate for as long as they could. A 
little Alan. Wisdom is light as a feather. Someone could be 39 years old. Okay. Now look. Uh, the number six came back out. Someone could definitely be in a life path six. I'm definitely feeling that. And the sixes are about, in the tarot, they're about finding resolution, right? That's the lover's card. It's definitely more than one of you. Wisdom is light as a feather. Okay, so right under don't lose hope. Yeah, see, you were feeling a collective. You were feeling abandoned. You were like Alice in the Sea of Tears. Like you felt cast away and out of your depth. Master number 11. Definitely someone's 39 years old. I can feel that. The butterfly ferrets. Okay, to me, ferrets represent like the detectives. Okay, I am reborn. Yeah, it's right under the golden phoenix. So something burst back into life. You did. Yourself. You were like the the rising golden phoenix. Just when they thought they had you dead and gone. And you were kaput. You, you burst back into life. Okay. And wisdom is light as a feather. Your sensuality is beautiful. Someone could have been making you feel like your sensuality and your sexuality wasn't beautiful. And that you were a darkness. That you were like an incubus and a succubus. It's a sewer maiden. Okay. They were projecting who they were onto you, Collective. That wasn't you. And the proof is in the pudding, per se. Plus, over time, people can see... That whoever was saying that was lying. Okay. A draggling garden. A new world is born. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, karma's coming around. The three fates. What comes around. Someone was invading you. It was an invasion. Death and the maiden. They were trying to dominate you. They violated your boundaries. They wouldn't take no for an answer. An ancient wisdom. Lady with the botched egg. So your elders, ancestors, angels, spirit guides, someone came through and taught you something and showed you something that you couldn't see here in the physical 3D. A miracle. Angel of alchemy. Ancient wisdom and miracle. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay, we have a gentleman. It could be a significant male, someone powerful, conscious, conscientious, logical. A professional, a friend, right.
Tell us about this gentleman, please. This masculine. Okay. A fox. Okay. Okay. Employment. It's a need for caution, maybe. Someone who is intelligent and cunning. Okay, so this is not... This is like a distorted masculine. And it has something to do with work. Maybe being trapped or tricked. Okay. Tell us about this distorted masculine. Please and thank you. Swipe or no swapping. What it feels like. <laughs> A lady. Okay, so it's a couple. A couple that swipe or no swiping. Okay, give us more. So not so gentlemen and not such a lady. <laughs> okay. The owls. And the owls tell us, let's see. The owls tell us about communication and gossip. So this distorted masculine is the one that started all this gossip about us. It's chit chat. It's a couple, definitely. And they're nervous. Yeah. This man's definitely nervous. Alright, tell us more about this fox interview. The owls is gossip. The letter. Okay, someone could get a message about this soon. It's a written message or a document. Results. Information could be coming through. About this uh, swipe or no swiping. About this couple. Could be news, mail, message. Can you tell us about this lady? We know this man was gossiping. Tell us about this lady, please. Another gentleman? Alright, this feels like a different kind of energy. Oh, so it might have been three people. A couple and another man. Two masculines and a feminine. Yeah. Okay. So it's a main male here and then a couple. Okay. The main male is the one that started the gossip. I think this couple over here, this lady was the instigator though. She feels like emperor in reverse energy. I'm picking up Aries. A key. A 33 could be important. They could be in the Illuminati. They could be in a secret society. It is a lot. It is a lemon. If you've been watching my other videos, it does sig uh, signify a threshold, a crosser of the boundaries. Something being revealed and understood. So we're going to understand something about this man that started this gossip. And was in cahoots. And we're going to get a message and communication about this couple and this other male. It feels like a smear campaign. I'm picking up a Taurus. I'm picking up a Taurus and an Aries and a Libra. Okay, and a bear. Okay, so this means it's going to be something overbearing. This letter that's going to come through, it's going to feel like it's overwhelming. Could be about business it could be it's very something could be something about your parents could be something about government 
uh, something or someone overbearing, especially in business or career. It does feel like a government kind of a thing, though. Could be a human experiment. Whoa, that went flying. Okay, three cars went flying. Oh, okay, we were just talking about a crossroads, right? So this couple, this lady and this gentleman are at a crossroads, okay? And a sickle and a whip. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The crossroads signify choices. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, a, a decision to be made or direction to take. Free will. Plots. Okay, so this message that's going to come through, that's going to be overbearing, is going to be about the plot that they did on you. It's about the choice they made. The plans they had executed. Oh, sorry, collective. I <laughs> did not mean to hit that. Okay. And the sickle means danger. So they're breaking up. This male here that was started this gossiping, he is exiled. Oh, he might be in an accident. Oh my goodness. He's being rejected from the group. He's being cut off from something or sudden separation. And I've never had the whip. The whip, okay, the whip means hardships, arguments, conflict, a purging, abuse. So the letter is about something that was very overbearing and it was about abuse that was done to you, collective. Things that are repeated such as sex, physical fitness, or arguments, okay? Well, that confuses it. Never mind. So it was a repetitive abuse they were doing to you. This whole group. A couple in a distorted masculine. Okay, give me one more of this. A garden. Okay, that represents like the internet. A social gathering. Groups. Crowds. Is a social gathering or networking. It's a support system. So you're going to have a support system. Okay, collective. Let's, see. Let's get into some of this. Oh, dang, I keep hitting it. My elbow keeps hitting it. just seen a card that ain't supposed to be in there <laughs> let's see what it is uh, walking away so they're having to walk away collective they're walking away okay, spirit messages for the collective please and thank you yeah they're having to walk away they're having to walk away from all the abuse that they were doing to you Judgment. Judgment is coming down. This is also the Gabriel card. It's 111 energy. It's self evaluation, awakening, renewal, purpose, a reckoning, lay your past to rest, forgiveness. It's a letting go. It goes right along with the walking away. And no more heartbreak, three of swords. No more discord, no more heartbreak. Judgment's coming down for the ones that did this. And it's funny, it's a couple and a distorted masculine. It's three swords there. Okay. Oh, look. You see? It's a ten of wands in reverse. Usually it's you can't see the woods for the trees, right? So you're letting these burdens go. Because you are carrying all this. It's so heavy. You're having to carry all this so much all the time. 
to me, in reverse means it's a good, it's a blessing, positive. So judgment's coming for the heartbreak that they made you endure. Now you get to let these burdens down. Give us some more energy. Whoa, okay, that went flying. Okay, so yeah, also they push you out in the cold. Okay, uh, this was the bad luck they tried to give you, the financial bad luck, okay? They could have also tried to make you homeless. I'm get, picking that up too. They wanted you to be in the poverty. That's This is poverty mentality. So judgment is coming down for the heartbreak they made you endure and all the burdens they made you carry. In the poverty mentality they they push on you. Give us something more about this heartbroke energy, please and thank you. Okay, no more fighting. This was conflict, struggle, no more inner doubt. They made you doubt yourself. They made you have a poverty mindset. They made you carry too many burdens. And they made you heartbroken. And the judgment is raining down on them for that. This couple and this distorted masculine that likes to gossip. Okay, tell us. Whoa. Here we go. I'm not, hold on. I'm not taking all that. I will take this. Ace of Swords. It's the truth card. So it's a new mindset. Yeah, because you put these burdens down. You're fresh now. You have a new way of thinking. A new thought. A new life. You have a new timelines. Jump in the line. Rock your body in time. That's what you did. Okay, I believe you. They didn't believe you before. Anything you had said before, they didn't believe you. They were trying to constantly put you into competition. Constantly just strife. If you're having to compete with somebody, you're not right on the inside, okay? The only person you should be competing with is yourself. And to be better than you were the day before. Be a better version of yourself than you are were yesterday. Spirit messages for the collective, please and thank you. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, we have a tower moment. Tower power. Okay, so this is shattering of the egos. Okay. Um Sudden change, chaos, falling right under the judgment. Okay, we have seven of pentacles. It's perseverance. So you preserve through, you push through, no matter what they pushed at you, no matter what they threw at you, no matter what they did to you. But you kept accumulating all these burdens you were carrying on your back. And the moment you changed your thought and you had a fresh outlook on life and a fresh perspective and you jumped timelines. Yep. Now you can watch your own money grow so that it stopped draining and sucking you dry. Yeah. New perspective. The hangman. Sacrifice, letting go, lack of, you could have had a lack of direction. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a change of perspective. That's what that is. They could have had you waiting. Hurry up and wait. Just making you sit there, hurry up and wait. They could have definitely been love bombing. I'm getting a water sign. 
Yeah, because there's King of Cups. Could have been a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces that was love bombing you. King of Cups is supposed to be a responsible, wise, tolerant, loving, like diplomatic kind of person, a leader that can handle situations. Okay, we have a Knight of Swords. Could be rapid changes in thought. And a Knight of Pentacles. Could be caution, slow and steady, being realistic. Queen of Swords is a lot of uh, court cards came out now. Queen of, you know, the, the Queen of Swords stands up for herself. She's honest and experienced. It could be a spreading of news of this. Page of Pentacles. This is someone start just starting out. But it also means good luck, good health, works more, talks less. And the aces, aces are all like blessings and gifts from God. Okay. The most high creator source, wherever you want to call it. This is a new financial beginning. Okay. And we have the empress at the end. Could be, um, could be a Libra or Virgo. I mean, a Taurus, a Libra or a Taurus. I don't know why I said Virgo. Could be a Virgo. But it's a divine feminine. Everything new is fragile, okay? Fertility, beauty, creativity, abundance. I just seen secret discussion in CSI. So there's definitely some kind of investigation going on. Some kind of crime scene investigation and a secret discussion. Influences that keeps coming out on it. Zoom, secret discussion. I just said secret discussion. They could be on Zoom having these secret discussions. I'm sorry. Someone's saying they're sorry. You can forgive people because forgiveness is for you. But just because you forgive someone doesn't mean you have to go back to them. Doesn't mean you have to exchange energy with them anymore. Remember at the beginning we said we're going to be taking care of ourselves, Right. I mean, the Empress came out last. Divine Feminine. Could have been a Virgo that was uh, doing this gossip. Because we had a couple and then a masculine by itself. And I I knew the Empress uh, meant Libra and Taurus. But for some reason I said Virgo. Could have been a Virgo that was trying to copycat the Empress. They were jealous. This one wanted to pop out. Everything came out. That's what the... That's what the that's what they're talking about in the Zoom, in the secret discussion. The influences that people, that someone had on other people and everything came out. Now they're sorry. 
Well, everybody has the same 24 hours to make choices, okay? Okay. Coming out of the woodwork, uh, all the uh, all the teas being spilled, family drama. So it could definitely have been someone in your family that's done this to you. And I'm so sorry, collective, but that's usually how it happens, right? It's usually not strangers that hurt you. It's usually some the people close to you. And family does get jealous, right? Like they can't be happy for you. Now they're feeling sorry and want you to feel sorry for them. They needed to stop and listen. They needed to listen to their ancestors. They needed to listen to their intuition. They needed to listen listen to their, excuse me. Oh, that was a spiritual burp. Woo. They needed to listen to their mother gut intuition. That was some dense energy. Okay, a car. It could also be a vessel, a body. Because, you know, the secret societies call it something laying, laying in my lap. A jackpot. <laughs> so, there was family drama because they thought they had hit the jackpot on something. That's what they're sorry about. Love. Collective's going to hit the love jackpot. 777, baby. home someone could be getting a home a new home love a new home it's falling right on top of the empress they have a new inner standing we have collective does and you're like a hermit like a sage someone with ancient knowledge someone that goes within and makes their own decisions okay what is that old programming in reverse that's because we jumped those timelines. We defragmented those timelines, Collective. I don't know about y'all, but I feel completely different for this 2024. Uh, like 2023 was a time for me to prepare and figure out exactly who, what, when, where, and what path I'm going. And I cut ties with so many people. I really, truly did. Um, I quit a lot of things. Uh, people, places, and things that weren't for my highest good. Okay, so it is also political and lust. That's what the meeting's about. It was politics. So it was like mainly for clout and lust. That sounds like the devil card if I ever heard it. Okay, something laying in the light. Evil eye, gone blind. You are protected. You're never alone. Be not afraid, okay? You're never alone, collective. Okay, what else wants to come out? Please and thank you. I'm already at like 40 minutes. My cat's up there waiting on supper. <laughs> Patches. Patches, a little hand. Okay, anything else want to come out here? Please and thank you. Okay. Not guilty in reverse, so they are guilty. And a flim flam man. That's like an old school petty uh um con artist. Car salesman. Yeah, they were trying to treat you like you were nothing. Like you were just an object to be sold. Let's get some light shine messages and close this out. There's something up there. Light shine. Light shine messages. Whoa, for the collective. 
creativity flows from me. I am a divine creator. Whoa, that's too many. <laughs> Keeps giving me that many, huh? Okay, we're not doing that. I claim my desires. I hold great visions. I am ready to receive. That's an empress energy. Today, I consciously choose to think loving thoughts, take compassionate actions, and bring forth peaceful energy. That goes back to that different uh, changing of thoughts that we had. About the burdens that they made us carry. Okay, let's do some letters and we'll close it out. Letters for this message, please and thank you. Whoa. Q. V. V for vendetta? Someone had a vendetta out on us? And Q reminds me of Star Trek. That could be relevant. Because wasn't Q an ascended master and he could like go in between different places and teleport different places? So you're powerful like Q on, on Star Trek. And they had a V, a vendetta out. And they wanted vengeance. And they had they wouldn't stop. I just heard they wouldn't stop for anything. Oh my god. I just heard one of their one of their children even died and they still wouldn't stop. Wow. P more than one of their children died in the group. D and they weren't sacrificed. It was karma that came back. Wow, I got Mary Bumps, Goosebumps, chills all over me. That come through spirit, come through. Woo e. I'm picking up a pedophile. Y. X. I. J. Having a pedophile father, I can really pick up on that kind of energy very well. F. I just heard fired. I don't know what that means. They're all fired. Now Trump's coming through. <laughs> oh, let's not get started. It's political, remember? <laughs> oh. Hey, any other letters want to come through? B. I'm seeing something about a bed. I see the feds. FBI. Yes, I see FBI. I see fed. It could be other kind of federal agents too. I see... Pedo. I see pie if that's somehow re relevant. <laughs> I don't know. I see video. 